Hello, Duke Hack here. Back again, I've got my two-handed Dane axe. I want to talk about a kata, uh, which can be extremely effective, but it is also requiring really good timing and manipulation of your opponent's sword uh, or polearm when they're swinging at the left side of your head. Okay, so the, the thing about this, it's going to be a little bit hard to show. I really need to have a uh, person uh, in armor in my dojo to help with this, but I'm going to do my best to show it anyway as a start. So I'm going to, whatever guard I have, I'm going, to, I'm going to cut to leading head cut of my opponent. Let's just think sword shield. Bang. Right, right there. The, you know, the axe head gets over the shield, just killed him, right? Um, this is uh, like at a, a, about, about the, you've, you've either entered and stepped into range with uh, your opponent's uh, sword length, or you're, you've been there for a while, but it's at about B range for your opponent's weapon, okay? Because your head is a target. You're not trying to be too far away and, you know, swing, swing away, or swing, you know, at them uh, using your range effectively. So what happens is I'm going to be here and I'm going to cut. I'm left foot forward. I cut, and then when they swing, so they made a shield block. They swing at my head instead of just doing this block, right, and then coming back over uh, or doing whatever other style cut I want to do with my axe. I'm going to flip my back hand up and as that sword is coming in I'm catching it with the bottom half below my my bottom hand and flicking it up and over me so it so it comes in gets caught captured moves moves it up and over right right so the motion is very simply here to here. here. It's not low. If it's low, I get hit, right? right? See how that's not capturing anything when it's coming high? It comes up. Hit up. Hit up. Up. And then once I've captured that and flicked it over, so I've grabbed it, flicked it over, my axe rotates back around while they're doing this. And I kill him with the uh, axe cut in the center of the head or the chest if the chest is open. Okay, so I'm gonna try to show that on the Pell. I've set up my spear in a way that this is sort of my opponent's sword coming at my head, right? So really, the way this the way this works is here. See that capture and then flick. I can't flick it anymore, but and then I roll over. So that's that's a really bad way to show it, but again, I don't have somebody help right now. So here, rotate, here, rotate, here, rotate, grab. I could be here and just grab, okay? If my opponent has a weapon that's low, right? I could conceivably grab it, lift it up, control it over, and then do that same rotation cut. That finish cut, see how my ax head is now low, right? Going from here to here. This hand is very loose now. This one's strong. This one's loose because I want to be able to use my top hand as a pivot point to rotate. Right? My hand doesn't stay in position. It doesn't do that. This hand does what it has to to get the axe head, the, the, the striking surface, on the target where I want to, right? 
So if I want to go on a high cut, it's got to be here, right? If I want to go on a lower cut, it has to come down, right? Okay, so strike, grab, flick, rotate, kill, okay? So that's, uh, that's the Ike Brander axe move. <laughs> it's very dynamic and advanced and requires really good training uh, and timing even more so. But uh, it's a fun technique and uh, can work really, really well. And the rotation, even without the flick, is great too. You know, if you're in a position, uh, I'll show you one more time here. If you're, if you're, if you've cut, right, and, and they they back up or whatever, and instead of just coming back up and doing another chop, I can come in and, and rotate, right, right on that line, right. Here, left hand, right. pop. Anyway, there you go. Like Brander Axe special. <laughs>